Folks, I had a subscriber ask if uh, you could do three-way color correction of hue, saturation, mid-tones type things, um, uh, or mid-tone shadows, highlights in Adobe Premiere Pro like you can in Apple Final Cut. And yes, you can. I think this person has seen um, one of my videos on color using the Lumetri color, which up here now on top you have this bar in the new 2015 or, and, and into 2016 versions of Premiere Pro. And so where a lot of attention has gone is to this right here when you hit this color up here at the top. And hopefully it'll work. And you know you get your Lumetri stuff over here. Uh, you got color wheels, mid-tones. Now here, let me show you what I've done with this bit of video. Let me show you how, how kind of crappy this video looks. This is your Lumetri color. A lot of times it'll come up just in your basic color correction. And you can go here on whatever your highlighted clip is and you can drag your contrasts and stuff left and right and you can change your temperatures and all. But you also have, you know, down here you have curves and I've messed with the curves. On this particular video you can see I've messed with the greens and the reds and, and just, uh, you know, the, even the whites uh, a little bit. I've gone to this H, you know, I haven't messed with the HDR range. But you can see here you can change these, these uh, tonal, make very fine tonal adjustments here. And, uh, and so you, there's just a ton of stuff you can do inside of, uh, of the Lumetri. But the Lumetri to me is not the do-all end-all. You do have color wheels here. You can see here I've dragged some the highlights up to a certain area. I've done the HDR specular one way. I've dropped the shadows down a little bit. So you do have shadows, mid-tones, highlights and stuff here. But let me show you the kind of point I want to make here is Lumetri is still not the end of this. Now I'm going to go back into editing CS 5.5. This is the mode that I like to use up here. So I'm going to click on that. And this is this is a look, a kind of a crunched color look that I wanted. I wanted the blues to be deep. I wanted the whites to be, you know, a little bit uh, stark. Uh, this is this is a bit of, of road in Asheville. So this is this is video here. This is not a photo. So you see, as we advance forward, you got this kind of like I say, very crunched, a uh, little bit saturated, over contrasted look. I would like to use something like that for like a detective uh, film or something like that. Let me show you where we started though. If I go to not to all, all this up here, but this in here, effect controls. First of all, I'm going to turn three-way color off. It's three-way three color is what I was going to talk about here that, that the lady might want to know about. So here's what the video looked like to start. Boy, that's dull, isn't it? That's what it looked like straight off of the GoPro that was on the front of my car. So I did my, uh, my changes in Lumetri, and I said, that's pretty good, but that's still not quite where I want to be. So I added the three-way color, and there you see, now you're starting to see what I think she might be talking about. So um, if I if I take this away for a minute, if I just I see if I want to get rid of this, of course I can click on it and I can hit the delete key. But what you can do, you can go over here to effects still, and these all these effects that used to work in Premiere Pro are still very handy. So I'm gonna type in three T H R E E, and you see three way color come up here. So I'm gonna drag that onto this. So Lumetri is already on this, and now you've got that shadow mid tone highlights thing that you can do here, and you can. You can grab these dots and pull them one way or the other if you want to. If I wanted this to be more magenta -y or something like that, I could definitely pull it out. Or if I wanted to go more green, I could go, you know, so these are, I'm affecting just mid-tones there. I'm going to go back to the dead center. I can change my input levels to give it a little more brightness or, you know, to give it a little more low end. And I think that's sort of really probably all I'd done on that other piece of video. You can change your midpoints here to give it a little more, a little less more in the shadows. See what's happening here as I do this. You can actually get some day for night type stuff. So, and, and there's just a ton of stuff. You know, going to saturation. One of the things she'd ask about saturation. So you got master saturation here. You got shadow saturation, mid tone, and highlights. And you just twirl these little um, triangles down. And then you can, like, say, I want to mess with the shadows and put a little more saturation or something into it. I can, I can definitely do that. I can go into mid tones, twirl that down. I can definitely do that as well. You can see what's happening here in the skies and all. Maybe I'd had done that a little bit. So there's kind of a stark but cool looking uh, bit of video. So you know, any of these can be undone. The thing I would say, the Lumetri color is a very powerful tool. They've given you this and it's a lot of flexibility, a lot of cool things you can do with it. I usually start with Lumetri now and then I'll add three-way color or maybe even brightness contrast. I mean, I still, from time to time, will find that I'm just B-R-I-G-H. The good old brightness contrast, throw that onto the piece of video. And you know it always goes further in the chain of this one 
that's looking pretty good. I, I probably shouldn't even mess with this, but if I want to take that brightness down just a little bit, if I want to change the contrast one way or the other, or bring the brightness up even, make it even more stark, you know. So you've got all these, and 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 that they they work one, two, three. So whatever you've you've done, you know, you want to pull them into the order. So I like to use the Lumetri to start. Three-way color, if it doesn't get me what I want, I'm going to take the brightness contrast off. You just, to delete, to get rid of these, you just click on them, you hit the delete key, boom, and there you go. So, folks, that's it. Hopefully, that's answered uh, my viewer's question, and and just experiment. There's anything, I will say this, anything that's in Final Cut, I used to use Final Cut, it's been many years, but anything that's in Final Cut, there is an equivalent in Premiere. It might not be where you think it's going to be if you're used to Final Cut, but it is in there, and uh I'm super satisfied with it. There's a thousand reasons why I'm a Premiere Pro guy rather than a Final Cut. And I love Final Cut. I would never throw off on that program. It's fantastic. Uh, and there are people dedicated to both sides. But uh, don't think that there's a thing in Premiere that's not in Final Cut. It's all in there. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to my channel if you like.